Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Sarastro's Star Wars Shatterpoint painting series. In this video I'll be painting Kalani from Atomic Mass Games Star Wars Shatterpoint. You can see that I've assembled and primed the miniature exactly as described in the first episode, which means priming in black followed with some zenithal highlights. I'll be painting Kalani in two broad phases. First we'll achieve a nice quick tabletop standard, mostly using speed paints, except for the yellow design. We can then explore some optional highlights and weathering, and you can see I'm looking for a nicely battle damaged appearance inspired by the Clone Wars series. So let's jump in by speed painting those base colours. I'm starting with all of the sections of green armoured plating. I'm using a 4 to 1 mix of Creed Camo and Black Templar for this, but you could go with whatever dark green colour you like. I'm starting with the lower legs where I want the paint to collect more towards the shadowed top part of each section. And here I'm soaking up the paint from some of the more upturned areas which I want to appear lighter. You can see I'm stopping at the knee joint where I'll be using a different colour in a moment. I'm now moving on to the upper part of the legs. I'm once again pulling the paint off the areas which I'd like to appear highlighted, wiping the excess paint on some paper or the back of my hand. I'm now painting the rest of the green plating in the same way, avoiding the main sections of plain metalwork where possible. This is a pretty rough technique and one that will leave a somewhat textured and uneven finish, which is exactly what I want for this battle hardened droid. Once again I'm just looking to make sure that the main values clearly show through. Next I'm mixing a pale grey and using this to paint any of the areas of plain metal which I hit with the green. I'm then going to colour all of these areas using an equal mix of Griff Charger Grey and Basilicanum Grey. The last area I'm going to speed paint is the blaster, where I'm using a roughly equal mix of Black Templar and Basilicanum Grey. I 
And if you're using the alternative hologram instead, I'd suggest something like Frostheart, Ethermatic Blue, or a mix of the two. I'm now painting the base using the same colours as detailed in the previous episodes, which means mainly graphite, brown leather, orange leather and Iroko. Next I'm picking out the raised design using Sahara Yellow. I want the paint to be pretty opaque for this, so I won't be thinning it much at all. I actually missed the bit of design on the lower back here, but I'll catch it later on. And finally, I'm painting the eye lenses, firstly using pure white. And I'm now painting over this with some fluorescent red. Kalani is now looking more than good enough for the table, so you could actually stop here if you like. Otherwise, join me now for some optional highlights and finishing touches. I'm going to begin by pushing the contrast of the armour using a mix of Arden Green and Spring Green, which I'll then be lightening with some white sands. I'm really just solidifying and building on the highlights that are already there. You can see I'm adding some nice scratchy textures as I go. I'll also be sharpening up most of these edges. I'm now lightening things up with some white sands to push the contrast. Again, I don't want the textures to be too smooth, so I'm playing around with lots of little stipples and scratches to add interest. This is now a mix of the white sands and spring green. I'll 
Along the way I might freely reapply some of the contrast colour to reinforce the shadows, or to help integrate the layers of texture. And if you need something in between the darkest shadows and the mid-tone, you can always mix some of the Ardenne Green into the contrast colour. I'm now freely moving around the rest of the model, boosting the highlights and playing with the texture. You can see I'm freely alternating between highlights and shadow. Another fun little touch is to add some chipped weathering, which I'm doing here with some graphite mixed with white sands. I'm being quite sparing with this however. To finish the green armour off, I'm using a mix of the brown and orange leather tones to add a little environmental cast. This can be brushed somewhat thinly up into the shadows, mainly for the legs which are closest to the ground. This is pretty easy to do, but adds a nice bit of visual interest. Next I'm going to add a few highlights to the plain metal details, using white sands mixed with a touch of abyssal blue. A few sharp glinting highlights is all we need here. We can also use this to pick out a few glints on the blaster. For the yellow details I'm just going to dab on a few highlights using Tenera Yellow.
now painting the rim of the base in black before adding my last few finishing touches, which includes strengthening the red of the lenses and providing a few final highlights. And this completes Kalani. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope the video has given you some useful ideas. As always, you can find a full list of paints and brushes used in the video description. Join me again soon as we continue painting miniatures from Star Wars Shatterpoint. Happy painting!